One way we can organize quantitative data is in what's called a stem and leaf display. What a stem and leaf display does is it is used to display individual data values as rank order and arranged into groups. On the left, you'll see stems that represent the first digit or first couple digits of each data value. And you'll see leaves on the right that represent the final digit of each data value. So for example, if I've got this list of several carry-on luggage weighed in pounds, if I wanted to represent it with the stem and leaf data, first we'd want to sort it and put it in order. This is probably the step that takes the longest. Once it's sorted in order, we draw a vertical line and start with the left representing the first number, and on the right will represent the second digit. So you can see I put the first few up here. The number 0 in the first digit represents the values less than 10, 0 and 3. Then we see 1, 2 for 12, another 12, 1, 2, 7, 8, 8, and 9, representing 17, 18, 18, 18, and 19. And then we add rows for the values that start with the digit 2, the digit 3, the digit 4, and the digit 5. Every stem and leaf plot will need some type of key, so you'll just have an example off the side that shows the tens digit and the ones digit is what's being interpreted here, so we don't confuse it with possibly a hundreds digit or a thousands digit. And of course, every good graph needs a title. This is how we go about making a stem and leaf display. Hopefully you found this video helpful as you organize your quantitative data in a stem and leaf display, and I encourage you to keep up your hard work.